of time and space A parallel universe is falling on its face When out of the chaos, who else could it be? But the animal adventurers from SPACE Bucky! Captain Bucky O'Hare Mutants and aliens and toads beware You're looking for adventure, well this is it With Jenny, Dead Eye, Blinky and Willie to win I said Bucky! Captain Bucky O'Hare I'm now on the data, Bucky O'Hare on the Toad Wars In the battle of the universe, you don't know what's next You only know amphibians are made it complex When you check out your scanner and the evil that it wants There's only one course of action Let's go for some toads! Bucky! Captain Bucky O'Hare He goes where no ordinary rabbit would dare If your righteous indignation has suffered a hit And your photon accelerator is broken a bit And you're losing your mind and you're having a fit Get the funky fresh rabbit who can take care of it Bucky! Captain Bucky O'Hare Just say Bucky! Let's Bucky! Bucky O'Hare Croak us some toadies! Fucky me, Turn this baby around so old Dead Eye can croak us some toadies! Negative, Dead Eye. They'll pick us off while we're turning. We're outgunned. Uh, that never stopped us before. How are we holding up, Jenny? So far, so good. Too bad we can't jump into hyperspace. That's the truth. We're just too close to that asteroid belt in Sector 2. So are they. Don't tell me you're going into the asteroid field. Okay, I won't tell you. <laughs> Good idea, Bucky. A few million asteroid fragments ought to keep them toads busy. <laughs> Need hot rock, you warty bog sloggers. Most honorable captain, AFC Blinky reporting. Extra heavy duty ship maneuvers are putting most sincere strain on drive mechanisms. Hang in there, Blinky. We're almost clear of that asteroid field. Blinky, are hanging in somehow. Yeah, it's almost clear. All crew stand by for hyperdrive. They're finally close enough. Fire tracking device. Flying, Bucky. Yeah, real tricky. <laughs> Thanks. A humble android almost lost cool, as Willie would say. To land the Astrobot, Storm Toads have invited awful selves aboard. Good ship, righteous indignation. Huh? Dead Eye, the engine room. Oh, misery and wretchedness. <laughs> All right, bust him into microchips. Then we're gonna fry some fur. <laughs> Got any particular fur in mind? What I know. What are you doing, Bucky Lad? Let's finish him. Too dangerous to fire in here. We could blow up the photon accelerator. Hey, what are you doing to my buddy? their weapons before they do some real damage. Well, nothing like a little hand-to-hand -hand combat. Make one move and the cat gets it. For the last time, tell the baboon to back off. Bruce. Bruce? You've got a tough problem. I'll fix it. Prepare to teleport the next group of stormtroopers. Powering up for transport. Ten. Nine. You fellas, it's bothering my buddies up there in space. Yank out them wires. Now! Okay, now beat it! You don't have Hey, where'd they go? That's a question I think we ought to put to Willie. I'll contact him with the memory stone. Willie, come quickly. We need you. You guys called? Whoa, what's going on in here? We we're hoping you can tell us. That's why I called you. Besides, we missed you. So show me. Show me where's your big scary ghost berserker, huh? Mm -hmm. 
Look, for the last time, there is no such thing as a ghost! Old Air Marshal, why has the attack been aborted? Maybe you need a little jolt. Ah, there you are. Do I have your undivided attention now? Complex, I, I saw him, a ghost berserker baboon, right here inside the toad transfer control room. I, I, I... I know all about your so-called ghost, and I know how we may use this mysterious baboon to our advantage. Yes? We can knock off two mammals with one stone. One berserker baboon, and one green hair. We've got some kind of subspace transmission coming in, Bucky. Who is it? Things are a mess down here. No ID, just priority code. All right, transfer it down here. <laughs> These guys just can't get along without me, huh? Bruce, where are you? I thought we lost you for good when the photon accelerator blew up. My brother! My matey! Honorable former engineer! What happened to you? Yeah, where you been, huh? What's the story, Bruce? <laughs> I'll fill you in later. Just get that bucket to Quadrant 15 and give me a lift home, okay? You got it, Bruce. Jenny, set course for Quadrant 15. Hyperdrive! Banana oil! Bruce! If this is you, then... Well, who's that? Yeah, this is getting confusing. How do we know who's who? This is me. Listen, that Bruce Dare is coming from... Hey, who cares? My brother Bruce is back. Did anybody else see what I just saw? Some kind of spatial displacement phenomena. Come like a matter transporter. Yeah, but it doesn't tell us who called in the subspace com link. Or did I smell that tow trick? Maybe, but we're going to Quadrant 15. It's the only clue we have to finding Bruce and Bruiser. Quadrant 15, Bucky. There's nothing here but that dead moon. And a squadron of toad fighters. Ambush! The shields can't take much more, Bucky. Don't worry, Bucky, me boy. Old Dead Eyes frying warts. Good shooting, Dead Eyes. Wish I had ten of you. Anybody here? Any ghost baboons? <laughs> Now, pay attention. Bucky O'Hare is in my trap, and if you don't stop hunting my toad transfer machinery, I'm going to destroy him. <laughs> I'm going to destroy him anyway, but one thing at a time. Hello? This is my final warning. Get your stupid ghost self out of my machinery, or I'm going to pulverize that mangy, flea-bitten hair. Got that? <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> hey, Brother Bruce, did you hear that? Bucky's and deep bananas. Come on! Oh, oh, well, what happened? Well, th th those berserker baboons ran away. <laughs> That'll teach him to mess with the toad air marshal. Now to get those toad techs back in here and make sure that rabbit gets fricasseed! Let's take one of them piles of junk over there. Baboon! Here we come, Spicy! Just like old times, eh, brother? Yeah. <laughs> but where you been? Did Bucky tell you about that toad attack when the photon accelerator went spooey? Yeah. So go on. Well, that's when I got zapped across the universe. What? I landed in Baboon Heaven, brother. I started working on a transporter machine. 
I missed you guys and wanted to come for a visit. But them toads got their own machine going, and I guess it sort of homed in on mine and made it go haywire. So now I'm stuck halfway between both worlds. Why? I'm gonna pull pig them toads, brother. Bucky, look out! I really hate when it happens. You incompetent mutes keep them on the ship! But the teleporter's still experimental. It keeps slipping out of temporal alignment. Well, enough excuses. Out! Oh! Tricks, backs, faster, you slugs! We must teleport more storm toads! Those hairy creatures are within my grasp. They must not escape. Hey, there they are, but look at all them toadies! Yeah, let Paul pay them! Destroy! Mang! Mang! Yeah, I'm gonna... No! Don't shoot, brother! You could destroy their ship! Oh, yeah. Good thinking. Mother always said you was the smartest. You guys looking for something? Run, sucker, baboon! Yeah. It's back to your swamp. Air mouth! Good arm there, brother! Stand back, I'll blast them! We'll drag those filthy mammals out of there! Somebody say something about filthy mammals? This is more fun than squeezing bananas! <laughs> bon voyage! <laughs> Shake him! Toad Air Marshal must be teleporting every storm Toad he's got. Prepare to suck space, mammal! Bruce! Berserker! Let's get out of here! Back to the ship! Ah! Attack! Attack, you sniveling cowards! <laughs> but they got two Berserker baboons! No Berserker baboon is going to cost me my biggest medal ever. It's time for desperate measures. I thought we were already pretty desperate. Back to work. I don't like losing! You should be used to it by now. I'll teleport every Toad fighter ship in the universe if I have to! Radar's clear. I do believe we've improved the neighborhood. Wait, what's that? Oh, that, oh, that. Yeah, it looks like the toads are having some trouble with their toad transfer machine. Yeah. It's working well enough to bring the whole croaking toad fleet to our doorstep! Banana oil! Fast as we blast them, them toads just sent more! Yeah! We gotta bust up that toad teleport machine. I'm all for that. Any ideas how? Yeah, get down to that moon. Did I cut me a path through those toad ships? <laughs> Music to me is, Bucky Lad. He's had eye on you, Scott Swillin' Slime! Destroy that machine, we're dead meat. Nothing in the universe will be safe from those warped brains. So, the stupid mammals think they can attack the toad transfer machine, huh? They don't know that I'm in control. I can bring toad firepower from anywhere in the universe! Fame! Mars! Mutiny! Oh, 
I hear footsteps. Prepare to ambush. The control room's this way. Ready? Aim. Cowards! Well, I have something that doesn't need a bunch of cowardly tadpoles to run it! More power! <laughs> Let those members face the void droid! <laughs> Boy droid. Yeah, me and Willie knows how to deal with this kind of beastie. Blast it with your special weapon, lad! It's it's not working this time. I guess the toads have improved their technology. I'll get them eat hot fire! <laughs> I'll never get to the control room at this rate. Just might work if I can pull it off. Just to pin down here much longer, we'll have to start paying rent. Oh, the witchcraft of Aldebaran can't stop this beast with a frontal attack. Just perhaps a key part could be severely damaged. That's it, the central control circuit. <laughs> must be some kind of malfunction. It's about time we got out of here. Well, they're not going to destroy my machine. I'll, I'll teleport a, a, a whole battalion of storm toads in and, and, and teleport myself out. Wait, don't leave us. Get away, get away. You'll disrupt the teleporter field. Bruiser, the door, if you would. <laughs> Cover us from here, did I? All right, let's set up a barricade. Yeah, that's the spot there, Bucky. Go that, and Powie, this whole thing is scrap metal. With pleasure? No! Don't shoot, Bucky! What? Well, I just uh, figured it out. You blow the machine, and Brother Bruce will... He disappears. Ah, oh, Brother, get out of the way! Kill them, You guys can hurry it up in there! No way! You're my brother! Bruiser, if we don't destroy this machine, the Toads could rule the Anniverse with it. Yeah! Bucky! Brother, it's up to you now. Do the right thing. <sighs> okay. Second time, them toads lost me, my brother! Sounds like Bruiser's really gone berserk this time. Where are we? Oh no, not a swamp anywhere, not even a mud puddle. You had to jump into the transporter beam. You had to disrupt the field. You incompetent bug brain idiot. <laughs> Look what you've done. <laughs> <sighs> I miss my brother all over again. 
But now Honorable Bruiser knows Brother as well. Humble Android have recording of Brother's parting words. I know you had the right stuff, Brother. I know it. Don't be sad. I'll be back. Oh, that's really nice, Blinky. I just hope he's okay. So what if these bananas is purple? They taste great! Well, Tink, maybe this transporter machine is gonna work one of these days. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll find him, or he'll find us. Oh. Ma would have been real proud of Brother Bruce. And of you too, Bruiser. <coughs> oh, can't we knock off all this mushy, molly, cuddling, sloppy belt wash and, and go croak us some toads? Hmm, there she be, rich, slow, and ripe for plunder. I, Blackbeak, full thrust to engines. Cut your engines and surrender to the Corsair canards. Fire harpoons. Got her now. Oh, please, don't hurt us. What do you think we are, toadies? We're the Corsair canards, and we never hurt anyone that didn't try to hurt us first. Hi. Now, relieve yourselves of all your valuables and money, and there'll be no trouble. <laughs> What's that? Who's in trouble? Speak up, whippersnapper! <laughs> and now, ladies, I'll have those luscious gems. Hand them over. Sorry, you'll have to settle for this! Oh, look you here. I bet that'll make him change his tune. Excuse me, my chair is getting restless. Did I? Of all the traitorous, black-hearted, backstabbing, scurvy tricks. Mmm, you got a tongue like a whip, lassie. <laughs> I'm no traitor to my clan. Captain O'Hare has an offer for you. This was the quickest way of finding you. We want you to stop robbing. Stop robbing? Never. We're, we're pirates. Get serious, matey. What's in it for us? It's about honor and pride. It's about the fact that you're doing the right thing and helping to save the universe. Uh, and what else? You help us fight the toads, and I think I can convince the United Animal Coalition to forgive all pirates everywhere of their past crimes. You'll be free to roam the galaxy. Mm, I don't know. This is an outrage, I tell you! Grab, please be so good as to let Captain O'Hare have his say. And you! Why did you let this, this creature come before the Council with our weapons? You flea bitten. As I was saying, the Corsair Canards would be invaluable allies against the ever-growing Toad Menace. How dare you offer to forgive these criminals anything, O'Hare? Bucky O'Hare saved Genus. If Bucky thinks this treaty is a good idea, then I say we vote yes. <laughs> no one can trust a bunch of lying pirates. I demand we be allowed to cancel the treaty the minute they return to their thieving ways. Well, I suppose that's reasonable. Any objection? It is so decreed. Once Captain Linnell has approved the treaty. Oh, it is not me that'll be approving. All the clans of the Corsair Canards will have to meet and vote. Then it's settled. Wow, I can't wait to see a real pirate clan meet. Uh, well, Letty, the clans only gather at Rigel 7 before we go to a secret place for the meet. And not but a Corsair Canard can go to that. Oh. Don't look like that, laddie. There'll be plenty of pirates in carrying on before the meet begins. Willy, me boy, come and share a mug of old swamp grass with me. 
bottoms up. Really, I don't think you... Oh, come on, Jenny. This is what pirates drink. Yeah. <coughs> what is this stuff? I tried to warn you. It's crushed swamp grass and swamp water, a duck's favorite drink. My sweet Linnell, you must believe me. You are more precious than a ship full of booty. Oh, there's Deadeye. Uh, is Deadeye trying to steal Linnell from me? Nay, Red Jack, it's more Linnell that's a chasing after Deadeye. You pirates sure like to play a lot of games. They're more than games, Willie. It's how we train our young'uns to be skilled with hands and eyes, to keep our reflexes sharp when we're not in battle. You sure are a big, ugly baboon. What kind of skill do you got? Well, I'm pretty good with a flying disc. Yeah, matey. You never showed me this before. Show us what you can do with there's lots of tricks you can do with them, but mainly they're for throwing. Watch. And if you throw it just right, it'll even come back to you. Gosh, thanks. Hey! Save me, little one's life. A right fine piece of throwing that was, me boy. Ah, Corsairs! This would be a fine new addition to our arsenal. I can think of a dozen uses already. Oh, the old ways are never good enough for you, Deadeye. If you get your way, we won't even be pirates anymore. Say no more here, Red Jack. This be a private matter. To your ships, one and all. Let the clan meet begin at the appointed place. Good luck getting the treaty passed. Bye. Scarbill, three on Mojo. A word with you. Good news, I need to be going. Aye. Well, in recognition of your amazing ability with this here flying disc, my clan officially invites you to the meet. Wow, really? That's great! Pirates, clan folk, and friends, tis time to vote upon the treaty and amnesty that Jedi has brought us. This treaty is an insult to us all! We've been pirates for generations. It's unnatural for pirates to be honest. And I'll do whatever it takes to stop ye. You can try, Letty. No, don't! Stay back, Willie. I demand we settle this the traditional way. The challenge of skills. Uh, don't be a fool, Red Jack. This here treaty needs a vote, not a duel of champions. So, you won't even accept our most ancient and sacred challenge. I the challenge! What's the challenge mean? It means that if Red Jack can beat Deadeye in a test of skills, the treaty will be defeated too. If that's what the clans demand, I accept the challenge. What's going on? Are, are they really gonna shoot it out? Of course they are. Get down. But, but one of them might get killed. Are you daft? Pirates don't shoot each other. Look.
Well, Alligator, you've been paid well to tell us what's happening inside the United Animals Coalition. Give me a report. I have a traitor placed high within the council itself. What traitor? <laughs> That's my secret. Of course, I said you toads would make him dictator of genus after you take over. <laughs> <laughs> That was a good joke, Negator. Uh, then here's another. The Coalition believes that the Corsair Canards will accept a treaty and give up being pirates and fight only toads. Did the Corsair Canards? <laughs> but they're feared in every sector of space. Ah, but the treaty is cancelled if the pirates return to piracy. And I can guarantee that they will. <laughs> This is the same sector of space that O'Hare trapped the Corsair Canards in. Doesn't that worry you? Well, surely you don't think. Put up your hands and don't move! Give me all your money and goods on the devil! You lying, cheating scoundrel! You see, Harmon, I told you, never trust a pirate! I me? What does a treaty mean to the Corsair Canards? Nothing! Give me those jewels! <laughs> oh, oh, you would! I warn you, did I? This violation will not go unpunished! <laughs> Do what you like! You'll never stop us! Mm, this is a sad day, Grim. We must send for Captain O'Hare at once. Well, I'm gonna send for Commander Dogstar. If anyone can bring these pirates to justice, he can. I can't believe it. I'm very sorry, but it was Deadeye and the Corsair Canards. We demand that they be arrested. Look, I'll stake my entire career that Deadeye is innocent. I'll find him, but I won't arrest him until I learn the truth. Yeah, they ain't gonna call my buddy no traitor. No way! This is insubordination. Get back here! <sighs> Commander Darkstar, your mission is to find and arrest Deadeye and his pirate accomplices. Oh, well, uh, then, uh, then I shall perform my duty as an officer of the Coalition, but I do so under protest. Jack, no misses. 450 hits. Did I? No misses. 450 hits. Result? A tie. All right. The next challenge will be arms wrestling. But you must have some clue about where the pirates' meeting place is. <laughs> Willie, can you hear me? That's it. Hang on, Did I? <laughs> Willie, can you hear me? Please answer. Willie, where are you? Willie, please answer. Where are you? Don't give up, did I? Fight! I declare this match a draw! Willie, please answer me! I hear you, Jenny. What's wrong? Will you not give up this nonsense, matey? Nay, I will not. Did I? Something terrible's happened. We have to get back to Roggle 7 now. I can't, me boy. If I leave now, I lose the challenge. Then you've got to beat Red Jack and fast. Can I propose a challenge? No, but I can. Tell me. Since you're both matched in skill and strength, you need a brand new challenge, the Flying Disc. But neither one of us has thrown the Flying Disc before. Ah, a test to see which of us is quicker to learn a new skill. And Blackbeak will provide the targets. The first one to hit a mug of old swamp grass out of his hand is the winner. After you, man. Oof. 
Watch it there, matey. You won, Dana! You won! All right, you beat me fair and true. Maybe it is time I change my ways. Spoken like a true Corsair Canard. Why don't you keep the flying disc? Then you can practice all you like. Why, tis a high honor you pay me, Willie. Corsairs to your ships and back to Rigel 7 at top speed. Of course we've been at the clan meet. Aye, and we've approved the treaty. And someone's had to sabotage us, and I mean to find out. Step aside in the name of the law. Dare I? It is my painful duty to arrest you in the name of the United Animals Coalition. Look here, Dogstar. I know you don't want to arrest an innocent duck, and we need the pirates' help to catch the real criminals. I was with Deadeye and the pirates the whole time. I know they didn't do it. What? <clears throat> well, uh, no, I cannot shirk my duty. But well, if I can be of assistance in a definite plan. One definite plan coming right up. All right, don't move. We're the Corsair Canards. Hand over your money and jewelry now. The boss, look, a buffoon. You idiot, it's not a real baboon. Mm, terrified of baboons, very interesting. <laughs> you see, <laughs> it's just a harmless metal statue. There's absolutely nothing to worry. <laughs> Give up and you won't be hurt. Boo! Hmm, what's taking them so long? This was supposed to be quick and clean. Be quick to clean you up, you swamp sleaze. Don't shoot, don't shoot. Let me do the shooting around here. No, ye don't, you scurvy scallywag. That's the last trick you'll be trying. Good job, Bucky, good job. And if my suspicions are correct, the best is yet to come. Bruiser, do your stuff. With pleasure. Wow. Aye, <laughs> and take a gander at what we caught lurking in the fake pirate ship outside. Oh, Negator, I should have guessed you'd be the brains behind this scam. Well, we've got you cold this time. Well, now, I wouldn't be so sure. Uh, I have information of such vital importance that it'll be worth far more than my capture. You be the judge. Is it a deal? <laughs> sure. There's nothing you can tell me that'll be more important than a... Uh... And here is the documented proof. Okay. We made a deal. Get out. You're free to go. Au revoir. Nice food. Look, how could you? Because we have a traitor to catch. I can't stand this waiting. Why hasn't Dogstar said no? We've got something better than news. Here's your pirate, a toad in disguise. Do you caught them? I don't believe it. You made that up to save your friend. Oh, indeed not, sir. This android has a recording of the entire capture. <laughs> and this is proof of a traitor on this council, a paid informer of the toads. Why are you looking at me? He's making a break for it. Get him! You'll never catch me! A newt? Our chairman was a newt? I can't get a hold of him! He's too slippery! You were magnificent. I'm so proud of you. Why, thank you, my sweet. Dead Eye was right. This flying disc is useful. Uh, gee, Deadeye, I, I guess you've lost your girl. 
Ah, uh, she was never mine, Willie, me boy. And I got no time for a lass in me life anyway. Captain O'Hare, this is very hard for me to say, but I've been wrong. Wrong about you and the Corsair Canards. And I wish to publicly apologize to all of you for being stubborn and narrow-minded and unfair. It takes guts to apologize, Greb. Maybe you're not so bad after all. Oh, Willie, I can't thank ye enough for this wondrous flying disc. Why don't you come with us and become a full-fledged pirate? Me? Uh, you mean I could? I come sail with us from one end of the universe to another, leading a bold pirate's life. Do what you like, Willie. But remember this. I gave up the pirate's life by choice to serve with Bucky and make the universe a safer place. Attention all hands, it's time to croak some toads! Aye aye, Captain! <laughs> Them words is music to my pirate ears! Remember, Felicia, this spell can only be used on machinery, never against a living being, especially not a cyborg. Oh, Master Jenny, I learned that lesson when I was just a kitten. All right, let's see what else you've learned, shall we? You must pass this test if you want permission to go on your soul quest. Now, Felicia, catch it! Thank you, Captain O'Hare, for taking time to bring Jenny here for this important occasion. Oh, no trouble at all, ma'am. I... your highness. Aye! Where Jenny's concerned, we're always glad to be helpful. Uh, just what is this important occasion, anyhow? I'm sorry, but I cannot discuss the matter with outsiders. Jenny, it's too fast for my spells. Without patience and inner calm, Felicia, a quark demon cannot be tamed or put to use. You must learn to focus your powers. Willie! Gosh, that's an Alder Baron sensor. They really are magic. Jenny, I didn't see... I, I mean, I, I didn't mean to... Uh, I mean... Oh. Willie, I know it wasn't your fault, but you've seen one of the most vital secrets of the Artificers. I, I wouldn't tell anyone, honest. Master Jenny, no one outside the Order knows about the Quark Demons. Felicia, I trust Willie. If he swears never to reveal our secrets, then our secrets are safe. I promise, Jenny. I swear, cross my heart. Uh, hi, I'm Willie DeWitt, Warp Engineer, United Animals Frigate, the Righteous Indignation. Pleased to meet you. Uh, how do you do? I'm Princess Felicia, granddaughter of the High Artificer. I'm about to go on my soul quest. When you're ready, Felicia, you'll go. Oh, Master Jenny, you're so... so fussy. I am ready. I am! Energy coming from the center of the Dark Heart Nebula. Let me see. What is it? What does it mean? Well, I don't know exactly, sir, but it's the strongest single source of stellar power I've ever seen. 
Navigator, set course for the center of the Dark Heart Nebula. None of our sensors are working. It must be the, the ionic disturbance of the nebula. This looks bad. We'll be lost forever. We gotta turn back now. Reverse course. <laughs> Curse this flimsy, inferior, second-rate, shoddy toad built piece of space junk. Well, all the Baron's senses would work in there, sir. You know the ones like uh, Bucky O'Hare uses? O'Hare, oh, all the Baron's senses. Hold our position while I scan my memory banks. Yes, the older bear and I fought had a strange power. What I need is an old bear. Thank you, Jenny, for testing, Felicia. I hope she wasn't too upset that she didn't pass her test, perhaps with a few more months of practice. If she can learn patience, well, your captain is waiting. Farewell. I am ready. I'm going on my soul quest. I'll show all of you that I can't do it. Don't worry, sir. And all the Baron's ship has just appeared. Activate the tractor beams. Capture that ship. Grandmother, can you hear me? Grandmother, oh please, help! Now, Mother, I've been captured by toads outside the nebula. You know what you must do. Destroy your senses. I will send help. Calibrating her sensors. And the ship's off limits to anybody else until she's done. You, Bucky? Mimi, I was just on my way to. Oh, don't be silly. You can go there anytime. Wouldn't you like to see the work on my ship, just you and me? Well, let's go then. Strict orders. No one is to enter. Yeah, but it's all right, Blinky. I'm finished up there. Now we can. Dire news. Felicia left on her soul quest without permission. She's been captured by toads at the Dark Heart Nebula. I'll go there at once. Willie, I want you to leave the ship at once and take Blinky. What's going on? Is it about Felicia? I don't have time to explain. Go. No way. You're not taking the ship without me. What if you need an engineer? I'll take that chance. Blinky, front and center. I am hastening to obey first mate, Jenny. That's my door. You can't take off of my door and not take me. What if something happened to the ship and I can never get home again? I guess you're right. You win. But if things go wrong, you've got to use the door to escape. Blinky, record a message.
one day, I was at the swamp with a real warty babe when a big bully came up and kicked Bob in the face. Oh, Seymour, you're such a wimp. Then I discovered Arnold Wartenegger's Toad Power Physical Culture Program. I set away from my Toad Power muscle machine that same day. And in just a few short weeks... Yes, with Arnold Wartenegger's amazing Toad Power muscle machine, I never have to worry about bullies again. <sighs> what are you doing? I said to torture her, you mindless tad, not bore her. Get out of here! You will take me into the Dark Heart Nebula. I won't, no matter what you do to me. You should not have said that. I had to take the ship. I can't explain without betraying the Sisterhood. If we don't return, we're proud to have served with you. Jenny, out. Cats. Huh. Everyone knows you can't trust them. I'd trust Jenny with my life. For that matter, I have more times than I can count. I'd go to the ends of the Anniverse to help her. If only I knew which end she was in. This humble robot took liberty of attaching homing device to ship. Blinky, you are the greatest. Okay, everybody, let's go. Uh, Bucky, what are we gonna go in? Good point. I'll uh, probably regret this, but we can take my ship. Come on. It's the righteous indig 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 I can see that, you fool. Go to full alert. This is the United Animals Frigate Righteous Indignation. Release your prisoners immediately. Our maser cannons are locked onto your engines. We can leave you drifting out here forever. Yeah, forget calling them into thinking as dead eye at the guns. Not before I reduce you to scrap metal. And if you want what I've got, you had better surrender immediately. Or she won't live another minute. Don't listen, Master Jenny! Master Jenny? Hmm. Why would I want the pupil when I can have the master? Give me your answer! All right, Toadborg, here is the deal. You let Felicia go free, unharmed, and I will take you into the nebula myself. No, Jenny, you mustn't! Silence, you mangy warm blood! Toadborg, hurt her again. I won't rest until I've torn you apart, bolt by bolt! Your threats are worthless! You will come aboard my ship immediately! Not until you release Felicia. If you want her, you'll have to come and get her inside the nebula! Break contact! Toborg! He'll never find his way out again. What do you think you're doing? Getting ready for battle. We have to go in after him. You are going through that door where it's safe. I'm not going to leave you when you need me the most. Willie. You have to focus your powers, right? Like you told Felicia. How can you pilot the ship and use your powers at the same time? All right, Engineer DeWitt. You win again. Ready the Toad Croaker for flight. The Croaker? But it doesn't have any Aldebaran sensors on it. We Aldebarans have gone into this nebula on our soul quests for generations. We don't need sensors. You'll be lost in here forever. No one will ever find you. Your master Jenny will come. You mammals care too much for one another. Release Felicia! She stays with me until I learn the secret of this nebula. Lead on. All right, Willie. Fly heading to Mark IV. 
This is incredible. My electronics are fluctuating, going crazy. It will only get worse. We can turn back now. Never. Deep within, I am still a toad, and that part of me always functions. What is it? The most powerful and dangerous energy source in the galaxy. The ancient father of all quarks. All that power? Mine? I will drink the power of the stars themselves! Toadborg, don't disturb it! You have no idea what it can do! I didn't bring you along for advice, Mammal. This will get you out of my way! <laughs> Sisterhood. We are all with you! It's, it's working! He's getting weaker! Sisters, it's not enough! He's fighting back! Take all our power, all our strength! Look out! Come on! Come on! Felicia! Felicia, help us! Send me your power! Felicia! Jenny? I'm so scared. I must help them. I must join with the others. Jenny, I'm with you. Take my power. Hey, these little guys are like the ones in the garden. Is this where all your core demons come from? Very perceptive, Willie. That's the purpose of the Soul Quest. This is where each Aldebaran must come to gain her full mastery over this power. We did it, Master Jenny! We put the Quark back to sleep! Without you, we would never have won the battle. Me? I don't understand. I'm just one person. That's right, one. You're the one that made the difference. Now, Felicia, it's time to get what you came for. Yes, Master Jenny. From the heart of darkness, I have conquered the light of the stars. And the light you have won this day will never fade. Your mastery is complete, Artificer. Back to the ship! Hurry! You'll never make it! <laughs> Take this, scum suckers! Another mammal frigate! We're outnumbered! I'm getting a signal from Toadbog! He's drifting in space! Get a fix on him! Navigator, get us out of here! <laughs> Look at the slimy cowards run! Mammals run, Toad's nothing. This is Captain Bucky O'Hare to First Mate Jenny. You are ordered to take the righteous indignation to Alder Baron on the double. O'Hare out. Yes, Captain. Ah, uh, don't worry, Jenny. He'll understand. He'll see. Activate the tractor beam! Did 
Did you find it, sir? Find what? The, the power source, sir, inside the nebula. What power source? What nebula? Well, but my instrument said that... Your instruments are malfunctioning, you menial fly chaser. Fix them! Yes, you told ship. Ah, does nothing on this ship work right? Princess Felicia has touched the heart of darkness and returned. She is now sister to us all. Thanks to you and Jenny. And you are a true hero, Willie DeWitt. Oh, gosh. I... I know I don't deserve to be forgiven. It's the worst thing I've ever done, taking your ship. Oh, Bucky, say something. How about, welcome back? Thought. They're gutting Crystal Peak. Flex your phalanges, Dead Eye. We're gonna shock some toads and save some slaves. Righteous indignation has entered Sector 14, sir. Perfect. Prepare ships for launch. Employ the single helix formation. No! Make that the double helix. But Air Marshal, the double helix is a very dangerous maneuver. So what? It's got star. I can get the diamond medallion for this one. Attack! <laughs> Hmm. 
If only I had lost my best scientist. He had a plan to drain that planet dry. He was building evaporation satellites. <laughs> we had a little disagreement, and I finished him before he finished them. You know what I mean. <laughs> so, all you need is one lousy scientist, and you can conquer Canopus 3? This could get me my medals back. Look, here's my offer. I get you one scientist, and you let me share in the glory. Okay, but I'm going to be the king. You got that? Deal. His name Willie DeWitt. He's some kind of weird mammal who works for that mangy buck of your hair. And he can complete my satellites. Oh, satellites. Don't miss. Engine took a pretty good hit. It's gonna be a while before the righteous indignation can fly again. Yeah, them two bit tentacles made a mess here, too. <laughs> can't blast them if I can't see them. Will he look out? Just cut no his goodbye, did I? <gasps> Told him I was with slimy saw. The worst of that slimy bunch of creepy crawlies. Well, ain't nobody gonna mess with our little buddy Willie. Let's get him! Come on! Hold it. First of all, we don't know where they took Willie. Second of all, the righteous indignation can't go anywhere yet. I got me an idea. I'm gonna borrow that one-man cruiser and pay a visit to an old friend of mine. He knows samurai lizards better than anyone. He's my friend. Oh, matey. <laughs> he would be a sight for these old eyes. <laughs> and you too, my dead eye. I'm here because something's come up, and we need to help. Our ship's mired in dry dock. Oh, come, we talk. <laughs> Two of them I was teamed up with Slyly Zod, and, and they snatched me shipment. Whoa! You gotta help me find him. Sly Lazard, eh? I know where to find him. We leave now for Saurian, where the samurai lizards dwell. No! I won't do it! But I give you my word, I'll let you go as soon as you finish the evaporation satellites. A samurai's word is his bond. I don't care! I won't do anything to hurt Deadeye's home planet, no matter what you do to me. Suppose... I told you I planted an explosive on the heart of the Righteous Indignation, and that I can detonate it simply by pushing this. Wait! Don't hurt him. I'll do whatever you want. Lift yourself to a higher power. Come. This one's for you, Billy. We reached a higher power, maybe. Let go, you sneaky salamanders! Surrender or suffer the wounds of the samurai.
complex mammals. Complex is waiting for this precious cargo. How was I? The part about mindless mammals was good. I think we could be even more insulting. <laughs> have been launched. Canopus 3 is doomed. Not yet it ain't. Come in, Buck. It's 
time for a little righteous indignation. What do you need, Jedi? We're ready to roll. Then listen carefully, Captain. Here's what you gotta do. And you gotta do it fast. Any luck finding Willie? None. Uh, we're wasting time, matey. Let's start looking. You see what I see? <laughs> the righteous in the nation. We have a chance to do what Toad Air Marshal never did. Destroy Bucky O'Hare. But this is just a storage tanker. We don't have any weapons. We are our own weapon. We're ten times bigger than that dinky ship down there. They don't even know we're up here. Prepare for vertical deceleration. Ready for vertical deceleration, sir. Remember the double helix? Relax, Rex. This is nothing like the double helix. Decelerate. Toads, evasive action. <laughs> Look at all those precious crystals gone. How are we ever going to explain it to Godflex? We will tell them. What about this? Get ahead, and so are those evacuation sentiments. They're all yours, Bruiser! Yeah! I'll blastercate them, erasedercate them, and if that ain't enough, I'll flex the potato! Detective, this some kind of force field. Bucky, what are we going to do? That's a very good question. Willie! Willie, where are you? Get on! We gotta get back to the lounge. Too late, man. The satellites have already been launched and activated. What? I've got a way to deactivate them. Come on. I built in a self-destruct mechanism in every satellite. All I've got to do is activate the detonator. As they say, Sly Lizard. Of course I had to. It was the only way to conquer Columbus. Nothing is as sacred as a samurai's honor. And for violating it, you must be punished. Take him! <laughs> no! Please! I'd rather be that duck's prisoner! No! As for the rest of you, you are free to go. But if ever you set foot on my planet again, Set foot on my planet again. You have my word. We will do battle. I have a feeling he'll keep his word. I guarantee it. It's Bucky! Satellites destroyed. Canopus 3 is wet and wild. We're coming down. <laughs> I can, and not a second too soon. Complex to ask for your forgiveness. No, to beg you for your forgiveness and to allow me another opportunity to serve you. I'll even start as a lowly storm toad. No, I take that back. Not a storm toad. Anything but a storm toad. Even a storm toad. You requested an audience. <laughs> Yes, I am. I wanted to. Never mind. I will assign you to the rank of Air Marshal. 
you are? Your first assignment is to return to the planet Crystal. Acquire another supply of Crystalline. Sir, if you don't mind my asking, what happened to Rex and Frax? They're waiting for you. <laughs> would ask about this ship. Shut up and keep digging. Berserker baboons have been the bane of our existence. Agreed. It is time someone came up with a plan once and for all to rid us of those miserable misanthropes. Exactly, mighty complex. I have been working on a plan to do just that. Allow me to give you a demonstration, mighty complex. I've told them they're about to see an episode of The Bold and the Warty. What? <laughs> How dare Fricks make faces at me? I've never witnessed such insubordination! <laughs> Ouch! You stop that! You slow-witted fool! This is one-way glass. We can see them, but they can't see us. Five, four, three, two... The toads feel is an innate response, a self-preservation reflex genetically triggered whenever they see a berserker baboon. But now, look at this. We, we know toads are terrified of baboons. What's new about that? Just watch here, Marshal. This is amazing! What have you done to remove their fear of the baboons? Not their fear, their innate response. I have designed special goggles. Their unique polarization warps the images of berserker baboons. See for yourself. <laughs> These are fantastic! It makes the baboons look funny! My plan is to use these goggles to conquer Betelgeusea, the Berserker's homeworld. Wait a minute! These goggles are a neat trick, but Berserker baboons are our most formidable foes in the universe! I am well aware of the enemy toad air marshal. I have constructed new anti-Berserker weapons for our troops. And to eliminate any possibility of failure, there is a secret weapon that you shall procure from the White Cliffs of Cahill. No! Please, Mighty Complex, don't make me go there to retrieve that! Stop sniveling. Toadbomb has given you a mission. Fulfill it. <laughs> so, you see, it's really the amplitude of various frequencies that makes... a oh, really? Could I borrow your notes for the history test? I'd really appreciate it. Uh, yeah, sure, TJ. You could borrow them. Here. Thanks. Bye. I think she likes me. What she likes are your study notes. She uses them to cheat on her tests. That's not true. Don't fool yourself, Willie DeWitt. I know how she operates. Mm -mm, uh, she likes me. I know she does. Well, did you see it? TJ was cheating. She's using your notes to cheat with during tests. Oh, you gotta be mistaken. Open your eyes, Willie. She's nothing but a manipulator. She's just using you to improve her grades. This is the righteous indignation calling Willie. Do you read me? Jenny, what's the matter? Are you guys in trouble? 
I know we usually call you in an emergency, but this time we thought you might enjoy coming with us. We're going to Bruiser's home world. He's being awarded the Bronze Banana Medal of Valor from his old academy. Wow, that's neat. Hey, I'm on my way. Oh, oh, Bucky, slow down. We're getting close to home now. What's that? Willie, hi. Oh, that's the planet Borg. Did that planet swarm it with bugs? <laughs> oh, the toads would love to get their hands on that planet. <laughs> oh, oh, look there. There's my home at last. Mother, here we come. Oh. Man, this is your home world? It's like one giant tree house. of his outstanding heroic efforts in the Toad Wars, we hereby present Bruiser with the Bronze Banana Medal of Valor! <laughs> That's my voice! I'm so proud of him! <laughs> I'm so proud of you, my little boy! Bruiser, I wonder if you'd do me a favor. Sure, General. Anything. Would you come and put some cadets through the paces at the Academy? I want them to learn from a real Marine. Oh, take me to him. Take me to him. Oh, Buck, would you all take my mother home? Cadet trainer can get pretty ugly. Sure thing, Bruiser. Hey, can I come, Bruiser? I can take it. <laughs> you know what? I think you can. <laughs> All right, now listen up. I'm Bruiser, and for the next 48 hours, you're gonna eat, sleep, and breathe berserk. Do you got that? Now, the first thing you gotta do to be taken seriously as a berserker is you gotta get the yell down. Goes like this. Are you okay, now you try. Give me all you got. One, two, three. You call that a berserker bathroom yell? That ain't no yell. You ain't gonna scare no toads like that. Willie can do better than that, and he ain't no bathroom. Willie? Sure. Are you Our first target, Ayuga! Uh, what was that? What planet are we on, anyway? What's it matter? Ain't nothing here we can't handle. Lower your goggles. OK. Now that you know the yell, remember, you can scare any toad in the galaxy with a yell like that. Toad! What, here? Hey. No slimy work bag messes with my world. No way. Ayuka! <laughs> Those scrawny things will never stop us. <laughs> stop giggling and fire your gas weapons. Help me! These scrawny-looking guys are strong! Keep it up! We're big enough! Your gas doesn't affect me, war face! And if you fight fair, Bruiser can clean your clock, too! Go ahead, call him! 
That's the last of them! Our mission was a success! The total invasion of their world has begun! Good catch! Good catch! Now let's move over to the next batch! Uh, I can't believe we're on a banana gathering expedition! Mrs. B! Mrs. B! Bruce has been captured, Mrs. B! My boy's been captured! Yeah, him and all them cadets of the academy, it, it was the toads! Toads, but they can't even stand to look a berserker baboon in the snow. I know, but it was them. The toads are invading our world. You can say that again. Look. Toads invading Beetlejuice. <laughs> we'll pulverize them. Come in, get it, you slimy warp bags. <laughs> Wrong. It's you that's gonna get it. <laughs> Stop them toes! <laughs> you can't stop us! Your world is ours! <laughs> Bruiser, what's going on? Silence! You will speak only when spoken to. The toads are in charge here. Toad check. Report. Everything's going according to plan, sir. Assault's going well. Hundreds of the planet's inhabitants are now our prisoners. Excellent. Yeah, total board. Mission accomplished, sir. <laughs> we procured your secret weapon. Forget the secret weapon now. Our assault is going so well, we won't even need it. <laughs> Scrawny shrimps. These guys sure are heavy. Now, boys, to the trees! Okay, Bucky, here they come. Let them come. I've been spoiled to fry some toad meat. Look out! It's Bucky O'Hare. I just got word that the enemy's making a comeback. They're being led by Bucky O'Hare. Bucky O'Hare? What's he doing there? My weapons weren't designed to work against him and his infernal crew. Well, there, Marshal, it appears we will be using our secret weapon after all. <laughs> Terror Toad! Look at the size of that toad! Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> Look at him squirm. Admit it, you runt. You met your match with the toads. <laughs> Gotcha! You a blockhead little toady! Wow, we see this is one you want! Stop that terror toad. Let's croak toad! Unless, of course, he croaks us. I just realized we weren't getting anywhere going snout to snout with that terror toad. So I made a quick trip to the planet Bog to pick up some bait. And you is quite a hero too, Willie. Thanks to you, them toads is more terrified than ever of berserker baboons. Yeah! You guys are the most powerful allies we have against the toads. I guess they learned one thing. You can try to delude yourself, but reality is reality. Hi, Willie. I need your notes again. Uh, I don't think so, TJ. Oh, uh, please, Willie. This 
dance coming up on Saturday. Maybe we could go together if you help me pass that test. TJ, reality is reality. Willie DeWitt, I'm so proud of you. Hey, take it easy. So, Dweeb, do you want to go to the dance Friday night with me? With you? I didn't think you'd be interested. I wasn't even sure you liked me. Well, you are a bit of a brain, but you're honest and you're charming in your own way. Android means no offense, but if Pilot Jenny comes much closer to asteroids, we may achieve oneness with the Anniverse. Blinky, we're late. Bucky is worried enough about this mission. Righteous indignation to Toad Poker. Come in, Jenny. Are you receiving me? Jenny, your mission is running late. You shouldn't be such a worry wart, Bucky. Uh-oh, speaking of warts. Calamity and woe! Hold on to your circuits, Blinky! Odd. They're not following us. Why? Most humble android offers possibility. Do not need to. I wonder how my friends out in the Anniverse are doing. It's been days since I heard from them. Jenny? Jenny, can you hear me? Are you guys OK? Jenny? That's funny. She's always answered before. Unless she's busy or in trouble or hurt. Deadeye, Bucky, anyone? Bruiser, Jenny, can you hear me? Deadeye, it's good to see someone's here. What's going on? They got Jenny. What'd you say? I said the Toad's got Jenny, you lover. No time to jaw about it now. They got Jenny? Oh, no. Bucky, we've got to get her back. Based on the computer's reading of the Toad's ion trails, there's only one place they could be going. Warren, my home world. It's their whole armada. Hey, mateys, the belt-sucking Toadies are just waiting for us to try and take Jenny back. We don't even know what ship she's on. Attention, filthy mammals. The Great Toad Empire has captured your pilot, Jenny. Why, you lousy toads? I'll, I'll murderize you! I'll... Bruiser, calm down. Don't worry, Bruiser. Bucky's gonna get her back. Count on it. Unless you agree to a trade, we're going to cybertize the cat. What's the trade, circuit brain? Pilot Jenny, in trade for the second climate converter, the one your renegade rabbit stole from my toad troops. Buck, you'll never trade. That climate converter's the key to saving his whole world. What's he gonna do? You win, Toad Borg. We'll make the trade. What? All hands to station. Prepare for hyperdrive war. We're going to Kinnear to get that converter. But Bucky, you can't trade. We need you in engineering. We'll talk later, I promise. How come he's acting so weird? I never thought he'd... Uh, boy, oh, what's an extra climate converter, more or less? There's only one Jenny, right? Yeah, I guess. I just thought Bucky'd put up more of a fight. Planet Kinnear dead ahead. Enter the codes, Bruiser. Yes, sir, Captain. That's already done. The Kinnear defense shields are going down. The hares will never agree to give up the converter. Never! Good luck, Bucky. It hurts to give up the converter, but we know you'll do the right thing. They're gonna give it to us? How can they? It's the only thing that could possibly save their home world. <laughs> so, you think Toadbog is gonna let you go once he gets the converter? He said he would. Do you really believe that? <laughs> you hairball! Ha, 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 ha.
Nice parlor trick. Which? Too bad it won't save you from the bog mines. Bruiser, is it my imagination, or has Bucky not said a word since we left Kinnear? Yeah, well, Bucky's worried, buddy, that's all. Well, you want him to make a speech? SPACE frigate, righteous indignation to Toad Board. The converter has been delivered as promised. Please release pilot Jenny. Did I watch out? Thanks, matey. You got good reflexes. You'd make a good pirate. But did I? Your turret. I didn't think anyone could ever beat you to the draw. I can't believe it. Filthy mammals, did you truly believe that the Toad Empire would let any of you go? We have the converter you stole, we have Jenny, and now we have the famous Bucky O'Hare and his entire crew captive. Bucky, how are we ever going to get out of this? <laughs> About flaming time! Huh? What's going on? Commander Toadborn, our sensors have picked up a mammal ship hurtling towards the fleet. It's already through the outer defenses. What ship? It's the indefatigable. Incoming transmission, sir. I'm patching it through. Captain Bucky O'Hare here, blasting through your fleet, Toadborg. Impossible. If, if you're there, then who? Second cousin. I look a lot like Cousin Bucky. We switch places on Kinnear. Ah, yes, Toadborg. Pitiful distribution of your forces, old boy. It seems you've left a soft spot in your front line. And we're blasting right through it, yeah. Targeting double bubble. The buzz, the buzz, the buzz. I'll give you a hand, Rumblebee. The buzz. Nice shot, Digger. They're scared now, Rumblebee. <laughs> Toadborg, it seems to me you're about to see a climate converter replaced by the one that was reprogrammed on Kinnear. And there's nothing you can do to stop it. We'll see about that. Trimot, guard these disgusting mammals while I take care of the rebel O'Hare. As you wish. Blasters locked on. Prisoners under guard. Top speed, Dogstar. Head straight for Warren's surface and that Toad Climate Converter. Aye, aye, Bucky. Top speed it is. Targeting Toad defensive batteries. Dogstar, you better stay here and guard the ship. It's our only ticket out of here. Aye, aye, Bucky. And good luck. Hey, Blinky, I'm getting this terrific urge. You are hungry now, Bruiser? No, oh, I'm in the mode for stopping some toads! He's loose, Berserker Baboon! Look at it now! Oh, you United we stand! Divide it, you fall! Cruiser, did I? Oh no! Don't worry, Willie. I'll handle it. What happened here? Never mind that now, did I? Uh, Jenny, Bucky's counting on us, mateys, and time's running out! To the command room! So is that the real Bucky who's gone to get the converter? <laughs> you got it, Willie Millet. That's why uh, Jeffrey there didn't talk to you. You'd have guessed he wasn't really Bucky. Explanations later, Willie. Right now, we've got to disable this fleet. Then let's do it! Okay, you do the honors, little buddy. Creating chaos is normally inefficient, but not this time. Hey, it's coming alive! 
computer's taking over! What do we do? The command ship's gone bonkers! I don't know! Can't shoot back at our own ships at Totopo! What? That renegade rabbit tricked you? Yes. And now Bucky O'Hare is attempting to take our climate converter from Warren and replace it with their own. I will arrange a special surprise for Captain Bucky O'Hare. Trouble's coming! The mammals are escaping! Toadborg will kill us if they get away! Close the door! Close the doors! Willie, I need a burst of speed now or we're all pancakes. You got it! Hang on, mateys, it's gonna be close! Yeah. <laughs> Not quite fast enough, Borgy old scupper! Oops! Don't Borg is really gonna be mad when he gets down! Do you think he saw who closed the door? <laughs> nope! Let's get out of here! Someone get me down from here! We gotta get our reprogrammed climate converter to Warren. Bucky's waiting for us. Stand by, everyone. Prepare for planetary separation. Mammalians, your fates are sealed. Great mother of rabbits. It's complex. I'm gonna blast your rivets out, Complex! What a pity! All that firepower in the hands of a blind slug. Missile lock. Rumblebee, it's up to us to stop him. As you will. Inoperative. Foe Moses is formidable. Uh, the battle goes badly. I'll have to take a hand in it. Complex. Catch. My arm. The filthy mammals blew off my arm. Ah! Rumblebee Digger, has anyone got any more firepower? We need to finish off this robot. Buzz, buzz. Need time for conversion. We did it. All right, all of you, take the indefatigable and get back to the other converter. Protect it from any toads still flying around. But, Bucky... No arguments. I've got to get this thing out of the solar system and destroy it. Now get going. Dogstar, good to see you. But... Where's Bucky? Why, he's fulfilling his part of the mission lab. Getting the Toad's climate converter off the planet. What else? <laughs> Willie, I want you to help Deadeye learn the converter controls. I'm on the way. Oh, matey, too many blasted switches. I'd rather have my Mesa cannons or a pair of right salty blasters. Okay, relax, Deadeye. I've used one of these before. Complex.
Phoenix reigns supreme. Uh, the sisters of Aldebaran. Has Bucky gone crazy? What in the universe is going on? Analysis. Other converter attacked us. Bucky would never take such action. Conclusion, complex configuration has recovered. Zbuzz, buzz, buzz. Which means Bucky is in terrible danger. Willie, Deadeye, complex controls the other converter. We need to counterattack with some atmospheric disturbance of our own. Two minutes, Jenny, I need two minutes. We may not have two minutes. We're in serious trouble! Do something! I'm trying, Jenny! I'm not that good with this technology yet! Wait, I have another idea. Take the controls, Dogstar. Oh, I'm glad to oblige, Jenny, my dear, but, uh, but what are you doing? You know you can't touch anything in this state. All right, Complex. Try this on for size! On target, did I? Fry is what, Willie, me boy? Filthy mammals. Oh, my neck. Oh, no. <laughs> You're still alive. Well, not for long, Rabbit. You're too slow, Rust Bucket! Oh, my giant blender lights out! He's better than Humpty Dumpty. Juicy and Berserker Baboon speaking. I'm talking to all you toads out there. A Berserker Baboon, it's coming for us! I'm unstoppable, <laughs> yeah, unbeatable, and uncontrollable! I want every toad off of this planet now! <laughs> Else I pay each and every one of you, bug eye, bald headed, banjos of visit, voice and all of you. The whole thing was Jenny's idea. Once the hares had reprogrammed the converter we'd stolen from the toads, we couldn't figure out how to get it within a hundred parsecs of Warren so we could use it to restore the planet. But Pilot Jenny reasoned that the toads would let it get close if they thought we were going to return. So Jenny lets herself and Blinky get snagged. So she could convince the toads to trade her and Blinky for the converter. It was a perfect plan for those weak-willed toads. Somehow I knew we could outsmart them. But why didn't you let me in on your plan? Our plan was already underway, Willie. And your sincerity only made it seem more real to the toads. <laughs> you guys think you know me so well? You, you bet! <laughs> hey, 
Hey, Dad, can we live here again? Yeah, can we? Yes, we've come home. Warren belongs to the hares again. We have our planet back. And we owe it all to the brave members of SPACE and Captain Bucky O'Hare, the heroes of Warren.